out on the car. Uh, tonight we're having a go at the um, filler neck. As you can see, it's not too bad. We've, we've kind of caught it early enough. I'm finding that a, a drill with a brush, wire brush on the end is doing a good job of this. So I've just removed the popper on the side that locks the flap. There's a wire through the boot that you can reach to, um, you just need to unclip that and then you can pull it through and pull it off. Next, I'm gonna remove this uh, cover. So I've got a bit more room to work in. And yeah, we're just gonna rub this back to find as much good metal as we can. Then um, I'll see what I need to do. I'll try and, obviously, we, we wanna get back to bare metal. We wanna get underneath these little pinholes uh, back to bare metal, then we'll Q-rust that and give it a bit of a um, primer over the top. Well, things certainly uh, escalated now. We've found quite a bit of uh, rust behind this first ring of metal, really, in the filler neck. So, the most drastic thing I've ever done to a car yet, I've ground out, uh, sorry, yeah, cut out this front lip and if you have a look inside you can see behind it now so I think this is good because now I can see you know the real extent of any rust uh, you can see there's like this foam material behind so I'm going to rub that down now and see what's behind it hopefully the rust hasn't gone too far in so we're going to find out and obviously, uh, once we've found out how bad the morgue, how good the metal is, <laughs> then we need a plan of how to rebuild this a little bit. I'm thinking some. I'm going to have to do a lot of strips in a weld. You know, strip, 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 welded in. It's going to take a while, but how on earth are you going to shape that inner ring to weld it in? I have no idea. But anyway, first job is to clean this up, get rid of that foam, and see what's underneath. Right, so that is actually really encouraging. If you look now inside here, now that I've wire brushed away the edge of that, uh, I'm going to call it the inner ring, <laughs> you can see that it's actually really good metal. Yes, there's been a bit of surface rust on it, but it's not um, ruined the metal. If we put some Q-Rust on there, that's going to stop that in its tracks. You can kind of see how that, that foam works. It must have been some kind of ring of foam that they install when they press these two together. But the way that I've managed to cut it around the, around the lip of the inner ring has actually been a good guide and it's a clean, fairly clean cut. I know I screwed up the bottom bit. Fair enough, my bad. But we can resolve all of that, and I think uh, I've got some ideas on how we're going to fill that gap. But essentially, you're not going to see any of that because there's a rubber sort of shroud that goes over all of that. You're not going to see it, but I do fancy obviously cleaning that up a little bit and working out how to get the gap closed. If we look inside, Again, it's really clean metal. Once we've rubbed it back, that metal is solid, it's not rusted out. Just need to tap it flat in that area. Uh, we'll give it a seam and a primer, and things should be good. You can see in that corner that the under seal has started to split. So I'm trying to rub that back to as much bare metal as I can so I can reseal that. But yeah, actually, after being a little bit intimidated, I'm uh, quite pleased with how this is going in this area. I'm sure we can sort this out. No worries. So, so I'll be back in touch soon. Done a very quick mask off. Just going to get a little bit of etch primer on here, just so it doesn't rust over whilst I'm doing other jobs. So yeah, quick and dirty, I'm afraid. But uh, yeah, looking good in there. Even the bracket's coming up nice. So a panel wipe and uh, a bit of etch in there, not too much. And then we can uh, move on to other things. Good enough for now. Like I say, just to keep the rust off the surface and then we can give it a proper go over when we've got some nice warm weather. Under here, again, just got the back of it 
so it's not going to rust in the meantime. Yeah, and even the bracket shouldn't go bad. But tonight has been a success, I think. Uh, the next jobs then are to get back under here uh, and have a look how things are going, what needs attention, what things I might need to adapt in terms of how I'm approaching this. Uh, so that we can finally start rebuilding the rear beam, but it's a little bit of a way off yet. Got a lot of stuff to tackle under here, rubbing down, painting. So yeah, so so far so good. Okay, so it's a couple of days later, and I have continued to wire brush down this sort of back area, and after wire brushing it in some places back to bare metal in some places I haven't um, I then Q rusted applied a layer of Q rust over the metal and obviously some areas I've missed because I just can't see here all the times so I'm doing it because uh, my goggles steam up blah 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 anyway so I've Q rusted it and what I'm gonna do because of the results I've seen off the chassis paint I have painted a section over there which I'd already tried an etch primer on now the etch primer uh, was quickly laid on and I wasn't really happy with that as a solution so I have applied some chassis paint in that area I'm gonna see how it goes and again I shall review uh, I am outside it is cold I can't spray anything really other than aerosols and I just don't think that the aerosols are going to be up to much really for under here at this time of weather, this time of year. So I'm trying the chassis paint over Q-Rust, um, we'll see how that goes <laughs> and um, go from there. I have thought about once we've got the whatever finish I'm putting over the bare metal uh, I have seen other people using paint rollers to apply the Gravitex, um, you know, like stone chip, whatever, thick sealant over that. So again, I'm going to experiment with that. I have had a little go in this wheel arch because all of this area, uh, once you got beneath the first layer of paint, there was rust. So that was all back to bare metal. Q rusted it. Now I've applied the chassis paint. You can see this arch is a bit of a mess. I'm not too worried about that because that will all come down to the final run. The home leg will be to do a full, you know, rework of the outside. I'm just focusing on the bits that I can do. So yeah, we've applied the chassis paint here as well. We're going to see how that does. But so generally, I'm trying to get on with it. You can see all the black areas are purely, you see that black there versus the, the bit of rusty area so that's the Q-Rust and that hasn't been treated just because I've missed it and you can see the difference what the Q-Rust does it acts as a primer, it acts as a rust, you know, preventative um, so I'm going to use the Q-Rust as a bit of a primer and the chassis paint perhaps if I can paint the Gravitex over the chassis paint then I'll be happy to do that but anyway if you've got any other better suggestions because you've been here before which I haven't then let me know in the comments and um, we'll see how we get on as you can see we've got a load more to do yet I haven't even got to the back section yet uh, and that's still looking alright up there I've got a bit of a tip off on a metal insert which can go in there and will be either welded in or some kind of uh, you know like high bond thing will keep the metal insert in there which will strengthen up that area again which is good so yeah things are coming together that was just a quick update of where we are um, that's it for the moment I know it's not particularly interesting just yet uh, parts are rolling in I haven't done a parts update for a you all. I haven't done a parts update at all but I've got loads of parts fresh from GM 
Oh yeah, I did get the exhaust central section heat shield out. I've got a brand new one of them from GM uh, to go in there, so that's good. Um, but once we've got this back section sorted out, that's when we can move down to the middle section. The good news is that the middle section and the front have, as far as I can see, uh, nowhere near as bad uh, issues with any rust. Uh, so again, we may need to review how we approach those areas when we get there. But that's the good news and hopefully we'll be getting towards some, you know, fitting some nice parts and <laughs> making things look good again. So at this point, yeah, stay patient. We are working on it and uh, it'll all come together soon, I'm sure. That's half for now.